Hi Pisces, here's a general look at your solar chart for October 2012 and this is an important gear shifting phase for you. There may be a lot going on inside of you during this time. You're more sensitive, you're, you're feeling your inner processing more and you will be processing, you'll probably be weighing things up, but you'll be tentative or keeping your cards close to your chest. Um, really you need to be sensing your way forwards rather than thinking your way forwards although thinking does have its uses <laughs> but um, you're just gauging where your priorities lie I think and um, and you may be more conscious of the material financial angle uh, might be centered around property might be centered around a relationship but you are likely to be more than a little aware of the emotional side of things about somebody else's feelings maybe or somebody else's rules and regulations if it's like on a business sort of level that this is happening with you because it can be personal or, or, or sort of um, business and it will you tend to keep you, you 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 will be feeling things more acutely and more intensely but you tend to keep the lid on it and you you tend to keep your opinions to yourself uh, as well that's really more up until the uh, the fifth uh, from the fifth onwards mercury moves and then you might be a little bit chattier <laughs> but anyway as I say um, uh, maybe a lot going on and you feeling as though you have to tread a fine line or got to got to make a compromise on something um, and uh, you're not in the driving seat on your own there's somebody else there with you sort of you know you you haven't got overall say here and that some some somebody else that there might be somebody else that you've got to rely on uh, and um, you've got to dance to their tune to a certain degree so but remember what I said at the beginning it's a gear shifting phase this is actually a time of transformation because you're going to be leaving one stretch of road and going on to the next. Now until the fifth, uh, discussions and ideas may be centered around um, all of that area that I've just been speaking about uh, and you realizing that um, there's more involved here uh, than, than um, there was before. Um, and you somebody could push your buttons more easily or in fact you could push somebody else's buttons but just trust the vision hold the vision trust your gut um, and um, you should be able to then move forwards uh, uh, with with without so much um, trepidation but from the fifth as I said uh, there may th then then your mind starts to get more clarity really and it's not so tangled up in the emotional side of things um, you could get important information then or you could be connecting with others who have um, uh, things of interest to, to, to say to you more, more discussions uh, which are uh, from those uh, maybe further afield or from an, from, um, an area who have an area of expertise uh, so advice giving, uh, teaching but also you yourself at this time because we can always turn it around the other way, it could be seen more as the advice giver and the teacher and the one that's got the, 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 the sort of vital piece of information. So this is a time from the fifth to be joining up the dots anyway, um, or to be aiding others to join up the dots. Uh, it's a good moment to beat the drum, drum on something, uh, put the word out on a wider stage. Um, some of you might be looking at the legal side of things at this time, uh, for some reason and um, also with Mercury here it's a good time to uh, mix and mingle and hear the opinions um, uh, of those who got a very different slant on things uh, and, and helps you to see outside of the box. Now until the third uh, practical teamwork is favorably highlighted if you're listening to this in September this is about Venus and Venus will be there in September uh, so practical teamwork is favor favorably highlighted and you'll probably be in a cooperative frame of mind wanting to uh, coordinate with somebody else's requirements, wanting to be there with a helping hand but also somebody else can be helping you out as well. Um, you may have uh, a relationship, may be 
centred around such an environment, a, a service-providing sort of environment. Uh, and um, there's likely to be a female, it's more likely to be a female, but it doesn't have to be, who's, who's there in a practical way to give you um, the venue or the equipment or, or the word of advice or the, or the you know, pat on the back or um, whatever it is, whenever you need it. And then from the third, Venus moves out of there and um, you and someone could really be getting on very well together from there. Uh, you could be bonding with someone or you could just be, um, um, a, a relationship could be growing, whatever kind of relationship it is. So it, in your personal life, you know, it could be a partnership or it could be uh, you're getting on better with whoever, the friend, the, the member of the family, the spouse, the, 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 the partner. Um, the lover, or it could be in a business or professional sense, um, uh, you could benefit from uh, them in a, look, in a sort of a material kind of way, but whatever it is, personal, professional, you should benefit from someone's presence, practical contribution, or loving attention, so doesn't sound bad to me. Um, and uh, in general, any negotiations or one-to-one -one work uh, could go more with flow better uh, at this time, and some of you will shift, in, shift into more commitment, maybe in a material or emotional sense, whether it's in a minor way or a major way, um, depending on your natal chart or your inability to create what you want. Now, Saturn, the big news for all of the signs this month is that Saturn moves. Saturn is transiting. Um, uh, into a new area of your solar chart on October to the 6th and will remain there uh, finally coming out in 2015. Uh, so that takes the pressure from um, uh, the previous area in your solar chart which was to do with joint financial contracts and moral obligations around property and money um, or, or also sort of um, business type commitments around property and money as well. Uh, so that's good news, and it moves into a far more positive angle. It comes out of that rather sort of irritating angle that it's been in since 2009, um, and it moves into a far more positive angle to your sun sign, so whoopee. <laughs> um, even though you will have an increased ability to concentrate, this, transit, uh, this new transit of Saturn uh, will tend to get you walking the talk and talking the talk, uh, um, and maybe trying to fit in to um, some sort of um, scenario or um, belief system or ideology, um, or maybe it's connected to abroad, maybe it's connected to some sort of foreign connection. Um, it can be working in various ways as usual. Um, but there may be more demand for you to focus your mind and communicate in an unfamiliar way about unfamiliar subjects. Um, or there's a kind of a cultural divide that you're feeling um, more. Or something to do with um, the academic setup, meaning that you've got to get your head around new stuff in a different kind of a way and, and the hierarchy is different. Or whatever it is, um, you find it difficult, slower to get the eagle eye view, to get things in perspective. Um, this is an intellectual area that Saturn's gone into. Um, and Saturn, this very, very um, earthy, heavy, earthy planetary energy, which is a female planetary energy, like a great cosmic mother, um, she doesn't want any woo-woo. Um, she wants proof. <laughs> and she wants evidence <laughs> to back up any belief any, any, anything that you're idealizing, any, any sort of, um, you know, well, I just know this to be true. Saturn there wants proof, and, and, and people will manifest around you, or situations will manifest where you've got to, you've got to find that proof. You've got, you've got to know uh, something to back this, whatever it is, proposal or whatever belief it up. Um, uh, and um, whatever, whenever Saturn's degree, a uh, transiting degree, connects with an important point in your natal chart, that's when you're most likely to feel that the most. Now, it can work out in, to do with uh, those at a distance uh, and, a, and a foreign land, 
or travel as well, again, you're having to be very realistic and maybe having to come down to earth with a bump because things aren't quite how you imagined them to be with your fantastic imagination, Pisces. Um, until next June, uh, the antidote to Saturn, Jupiter, will expand you into new areas and uh, which tend to help you feel more anchored and safe and peaceful at the roots of your life. So that's really, really good position for Jupiter to hold um, for you, Pisces. And about Mars, well, until the seventh Mars, we'll be transiting an educational house and you will be more hands-on learning, um, more active through learning through doing, but grasping certain things that you didn't have a clue about before maybe, a good time to enroll in something, again if you're listening to this in September, physical energy needed to push the envelope of daily life, um, learning through direct personal experience, and reach out, reach out of the, of the normal daily grind and sign up for something or take a, take a trip, tra get, take a break and um, also um, get the knowledge, get the information that, that, you, that, that you need to help you complete the pieces of the puzzle. And then from the seventh, when Mars move, is going to be a period when you'll be putting, putting physical effort and activity into achieving certain goals and ambitions. And maybe crossing swords with an authority figure or two <laughs> along the way. Um, but th these goals and ambitions could be career orientated, might not be. Um, and uh, this transit of Mars can inspire you to improve your image or reputation uh, or something that you're packaging, uh, change the way others see you. Uh, but if you are decisive and energetic, Mars will help you do well despite his tendency to be controversial and a bit hasty. So, you know, just be patient um, and don't get hot under the collar with the powers that be. Um, even though it's more likely, um, so try and avoid it if you can, um, seeing them as aggressive or over the top or bossy or, 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 or inefficient. Uh, and uh, if you manage to keep your cool and not be too hasty, you will make progress with the master plan, but also with lesser goals and ambitions as well. And uh, from the 23rd, you'll be in a more outgoing and a mood, uh, ready to be amazed by new possibilities and launching into new things and that's when the sun joins where Mercury went on the 5th and that's it for October and now if you're not on my website already um, you might like to read what the slower uh, planets are doing this month I haven't mentioned those much apart from Saturn because it's changing position um, they don't change a lot month to month uh, so if you've read it before um, you, it doesn't matter um, and um, also you might like to listen for the, to the forecast for your rising sign or your moon sign uh, because that will give you a different, different sort of slant on things but don't pay attention to the dates I'm giving because they only really apply to the sun sign um, and I've explained that on another video I put out about 10 days ago so you'll find that on um, my site or YouTube maybe it's still just on YouTube and I hope all that helps and I'll see you the next time